the V-22 Osprey has already become a mature tilt-rotor aircraft and has been included in the ranks of star military equipment, with its number and scale of deployment continuously expanding and a broad development prospects. However, the design companies Boeing and Bell once had an even more ambitious plan, together designing a larger quad-rotor transport aircraft known as the V-44. The development of the V-44 began in 1998, but its technology can be traced back to the Bell Company's exploration of the D-332 quad-rotor in 1979. Even though the V-22 had not yet entered into service, the U.S. military had already realized the future value of these new aircraft, and therefore had high hopes for the V-44. The V-44 directly adopted many of the research results of the V-22, and it is said that their parts have a commonality of about 50%. However, the V-44 is structurally quite different. With a main fuselage structure similar to a conventional large transport aircraft, using a tricycle landing gear, main landing gear located on both sides of the fuselage, and a rear-mounted cargo door for loading and unloading large cargo. The aircraft has a continuous cargo space that can accommodate up to 90 soldiers or equipment such as AH-64, UH-60, and striker armored vehicles with a maximum payload of about 18 tons and a maximum effective payload of about 11 tons in hover. The aircraft's power system is the same as the V-22, but it uses two sets of wings and four sets of rotors, with the front set of wings slightly smaller and connected to the upper half of the front fuselage, and the rear set of wings larger and located above the rear fuselage, to avoid encroachment of the internal space of the fuselage and expand the cargo space. The aircraft does not have conventional tail components required by fixed-wing aircraft, and the corresponding flaps and other devices are installed on the two sets of wings. But the wings cannot be folded like the V-22. For such a large aircraft, structural strength needs to be considered, and the engine nacelle at the wingtips can tilt forward like the power components of the V-22 to increase thrust during level flight and facilitate high-speed flight. The aircraft is expected to achieve a cruising speed of about 460 km per hour, with a maximum speed of about 520 km per hour. The aircraft's range in maximum payload state is between 500 to 1,000 miles, and the maximum range of the aircraft will be greater than 1,000 miles. Although the aircraft is large, with a length of 30 meters, it can still take off and land on suitable open ground like a regular helicopter, with transport capabilities similar to the C-130. However, at that time, even the simpler V-22 had not been finalized for service and was still being continuously improved, making the more complex V-44 even more difficult. The company conducted some tests on reduced-scale models in 2000 and later proposed a slightly smaller design to further increase the commonality of parts with the V-22, but the transport capacity also decreased. It was estimated at the time that the V-44 would be completed by around 2010, and it would replace transport aircraft or helicopters such as the C-130 and CH-53. As of now, aircraft like the V-44 have development value, but there is still a long way to go before the technology matures. It is not as simple as just enlarging the V-22 and adding engines, and many factors such as the structural strength of the fuselage and aerodynamic layout need to be considered. The United States is still actively developing related technologies, such as the Bell V-280, indicating that the United States places great importance on such aircraft. The V-44 may be realized in the future on some day.